The Story of the Root Children by Sybil von Olfers Under the ground, deep in the earth, among the roots of the trees, the little root children were fast asleep all winter long. They felt nothing of the biting wind, the cold snow or the stinging hailstorms. They slept peacefully in their warm burrows. They were dreaming of the sunshine in which they had played all through the summer and what wonderful dreams they were. When at last winter came to an end and the sun began to melt the snow, Mother Earth came along with her candle to wake them up again. Wake up, children, she called kindly. Time to get up now. You've slept long enough. Spring is coming and there is work to be done. I've brought you scissors, needles and thread and pieces of cloth so that you can all make new clothes. Wake up. As soon as you're ready, I'll unlock and open the doors up to the ground. The children yawned and stretched. Then they jumped up merrily. Hooray! Spring is coming! Mother Earth had pieces of lovely coloured cloth in her basket. Each of the root children chose her own colour to make a dress. The snowdrop chose a snow-white cloth. The forget-me-not a sky-blue piece. The buttercup bright yellow. And the daisy white with yellow and a bit of red. And the poppy a bright red. Then they sat down in a cosy circle and began to work busily. They cut, they sewed and pressed until everything fitted exactly. And as they worked, they sang all the spring songs that they knew. As soon as they had finished making their new dresses, they went up to Mother Earth in a long procession. Mother Earth looked over her spectacles in surprise when she saw the root children coming so soon. Well, well, you have been quick, she exclaimed, and how nice it all looks. Even the little ants who had been helping Mother Earth to wind up her wool came to look inquisitively. They had never seen such splendid clothes. But there was still more to be done. The ladybirds, the beetles, the grubs and the bumblebees had also been sleeping under the ground and now had woken up. They had to be washed and brushed, painted colourfully and made to shine so they would look as beautiful as possible. What a hustle and bustle was going on down there. Up above ground, the warm sun was already bringing out the new green leaves on the trees. Would the root, root children be ready in time? At last, it was really springtime. Mother Earth opened the door. Then out into the lovely warm spring sunshine came the stately procession of beetles, ladybirds and root children with their blades of grass and flowers. In the woods, the butterflies fluttered happily around the flowers. The lilies of the valley found a cool spot in the shade of the trees beside the blue violets, and there they let their flower bells tinkle. There too, Father Sliff Slaff Slipper Slack also came creeping along. Ha! There you all are. Welcome to the big forest, he called to the children. The little violet looked him shyly from her safe place behind her tree. She'd never seen such a creature before. Summer came. In the little brook that flowed between the meadows, the summer lily let herself be carried over the water like a princess. The reeds whispered in the wind. The forget-me-nots came and stepped carefully into the water, but the beetles grumbled. It's getting too crowded here. Go and play somewhere else. In the flower meadows, the root children were having a high time. They danced nimbly in the warm sunshine. Hops and skip, whoopee, what fun! If only it were always summer. The butterflies flattered above them, and even the beetle risked a dance. Crickets chirp, the bees buds, and that was their music. Mind out, little grass, don't fall down. But summer also came to an end, and the sharp autumn wind whirled the brightly coloured leaves through the air and tugged at the root children's clothes. Woo, called the wind, hurry home, it's getting cold here, it's time to go to bed. So then they all went back again in a long procession. Mother Earth was standing by the door and hugged each child one by one. Come in, children, she said, and you too, beetles and bees. It's warm and cosy in here, and I've got something for you all to eat and drink. After that, you must all go to sleep until I wake you up again in the springtime. And all the little root children went down under the ground again to start their long winter sleep. The End